Hello. Hello, everyone. So I think uh, we should uh, wait a little bit because I see that some participants are joining. Yes, and let's wait about a minute. Yes, and then uh, I will start. Also, you can use the chat. Yes, and uh, I hope you uh, you can see my screen. Yes, and I will be very thankful to you if somebody type something in chat. Okay, great. Yeah. So, I think it's time to start. Yep. Okay, and once again, uh, hello everyone. Yes, and uh, I'm glad that you all joined our webinar. Yes, and today we will speak about how we can automate your bookkeeping practice. Yes, especially in view of data entry. And uh, first of all, yes, let me introduce myself. Yep, and uh, my name is uh, Kirill Bandarenka. Just a second. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, you can call me shortly uh, Kirill Bond, but not James. <laughs> but surely I can be your secret agent, yes, who helps with accounting automation. But yeah, this is a joke. But actually, I'm a senior business development manager, yes, at Intera Global, and uh, I'm experienced in the accounting and bookkeeping industry. Yes, and I have worked with uh, 500 plus customers around the world. So um, I think they uh, love me, yeah, especially their families, yes, because I saved too much time for them. And speaking about Intera, we are a IT company with uh, an office in Dubai. So uh, we are software developers and uh, we focus on the accounting industry. And we believe that our mission um, is to do accounting and bookkeeping business processes uh, better and safer. And not only business processes, but you know, I think environment in general. Yes, do it better and uh, safer. Okay, so, and uh, today, uh, Today we will speak about the challenges and typical problems. Yes, and uh, then I will tell you about our solution. Yes, and uh, after that we will switch to online demo and I will uh, I will show you how it works and you will see how it works in action. And uh, we will use some samples and uh, you will see how it works with third party applications, uh, integrations part and so on. And surely we will discuss pricing. Yes, and uh, in the end I will be happy to answer your uh, questions during the Q and A uh, section. Okay, so uh, before we will start also, I would like to ask you a few questions about you, yes, and about your company. Uh, and you can leave your uh, answers in chat and please do it. Uh, I think uh, I will uh, I will be waiting a minute, yes, and thank you in advance because it will be very helpful for me and uh, it will help me to be uh, closer to your purposes uh, for this webinar. So, and thank you so much uh, once again in advance. Okay, so I see some comments. So please, somebody else. Okay, great, great. Nice to meet you with uh, all of you. Okay, so uh, let's continue. Yep. And uh, first of all, I have to say that uh, we did comprehensive research for document processing for companies in Gulf countries. And uh, we, uh, you know, uh, we tried to define which challenges or issues they have. And uh, surely we collected very carefully uh, the feedback, yes, and a lot of response from our clients. And, you know, I definitely should say, uh, the main headache for bookkeepers in uh, the data entry process, uh, sorry, the main headache for bookkeepers is the data entry process and uh, a lot of different uh, related activities, you know, because just imagine, yes, uh, they work uh, sometimes with 100 or even 1000 documents per month 
from different sources in different formats. Yes, and uh, this is the usual reason for delays for, you know, some, unfortunately, some mistakes, yes, and maybe some shortage of time to do work on time, yeah. And uh, at the same time, you know, the problems uh, experienced by the accountants and the bookkeepers lead to problems that are already visible to the top management of the company, you know, and uh, I think I can, I can, uh, I can state that uh, the busier and bookkeeper is, the less clients they can serve and surely the more mistakes will be made and uh, you know just imagine uh, again if we can speed up the process of data entry each accountant will be able to work uh, for example with uh, 50 clients instead of 10 clients during the month yes and uh, as a result your business will be growing so i think this is this is uh, this is one of our goal yeah Okay, and um, let's speak about some uh, challenges. Yes, and very typical problem. So um, I think I should mention that time consuming, uh, this is uh, the main problem. And uh, we, we, we think so. Yeah, and uh, routine work with data entry. Yes, which takes too much time. So this is this is the real uh, the real uh, challenge, yeah, for industry. And on average, an accountant spends at least forty-five days per year to process incoming documents, to collect it, uh, input, validate all data, input all of this to ERP or accounting software. So as a result, they do routine work instead of spending time for uh, other business needs. Yes, or maybe it will be available for them to uh, work with more clients. Yeah, and we know time is money. Yeah. And uh, I think the next uh, very important uh, part when we speak about challenges, inaccuracy. Yes, because more than 80% of companies reported uh, about errors in manual handling of uh, documents. Yes, and uh, very often it caused by human factors. Yes, and it could be error during uh, the input of information or it can be uh, some errors in original documents. Yes, and uh, anyway, uh, as a result, the team needs time to get deal with it. Yes, or investigate these cases. And once again, uh, we can uh, say that uh, the time is money. Yeah. Okay. And uh, speaking about Intera and what we propose, you know, honestly, I don't think an accountant or any manager would refuse to do uh, document processing faster and more accurately. So uh, we believe that this is a, a very good opportunity to try new technology. Yes, and this is the reason why we propose our solution. Yes, and we are sure that we can fix it. Yes, and uh, you know, moreover, I think Intera was designed especially to solve these uh, problems and all uh, relevant challenges. Uh, okay, and uh, uh, let's speak about the uh, technical side of uh, our solution. Yes, and technical and some uh, and some functionality, surely. Yep, and uh, we propose cloud service. Yes, uh, based on AI technology and OCR technology for automated data entry. Yes, and on the slide you can see the diagram with the relevant steps. So the first step is uploading documents to Intera from different sources. Second step is Intera capture the data, recognize it, classify each document, and do multiple validation to check correctness of data. So, uh, also I think it's very important to say that Intera is synchronized with your accounting software and provides matching for items, for categories, for type of transactions, uh, for name of suppliers, and the other. So, and uh, the final step, third step, this is Intera provides seamless integration with your accounting software and your data will be transferred uh, directly to your accounting software, yeah. And I think also it's important to underline that Intera provides mass uploading. So you don't need to work with documents one by one. Yes, you can upload all your documents at once, yes, and then you will see all of them uh, in your accounting software. Okay, and now let's speak a little bit uh, more about the first step. So, uploading documents to Intera. It can be done by three ways. Uh, you can upload data for email. Yep. Okay. Just a second. Okay. Yep. So, it can be done by three ways. Yes. Uh, email, web user interface, or through the smartphone, for example. And you know, just could you please... Uh, Tell me uh, by chat. Uh, do you see my screen now? 
everything is okay yes because <laughs> it's it's very useful for me yeah okay great yeah thank you so much thank you so much let's 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 go okay so uh, let's speak about uploading the documents to Intera. so as mentioned it can be done by three ways yes the first way is our uh, email yes and uh, also uh, it's possible to upload data to the web user interface yes or to the smartphone and surely we work with paper documents yes and how it works for example especially speaking about paper documents you just need to take a stack of your documents scan all the, uh, put it in your scanner yes scan all of this at once yes and then upload this uh, pdf document to intera yes very easily yes and intera will sort it out uh, your documents for you so you don't need to upload it one by one yes uh, intera will work with it yes with all documents separately even you upload just one pdf which includes 100 documents for example okay so and let's speak about uh, the uh, next step so the next step is uh intera captures the data recognize it classify each document yes and next intera do validation in multiple checks so what it means intera will check how each item corresponds with total amount intera will check the name of supplier yes and uh, many others uh, many other parameters yes and because uh we focused on accuracy and we provide unique recognition accuracy uh i think you know this is really very unique parameters because we provide uh, recognition uh, accuracy up to 98 percent so but how we do it yeah and we use not we use not just uh, you know not just common OCR technology but also we use our own AI engine and we combined these two technology. Yes, and uh, it allows us to increase quality of recognition. You know, also, I think uh, it's very important to say that Intera is synchronized with your accounting software. Yes, and uh, provides matching for items, for categories, for type of transactions and name of suppliers. Yes, as mentioned by me previously. Yeah, and uh, let's speak about also integration. So. Um, this is the uh, next and final step, yep. Yeah. Intera provides seamless integration with your accounting software like QuickBooks Online or Zoho Books and uh, et cetera. And uh, also Intera has our own API uh, and our technical team, uh, you know, will be happy to support you. Yes, if you need to integrate it with any third party application, for example. So um, please uh, pay attention that Intera allows not only to transfer data from invoice, you know, but also Intera do matching with your categories. You know, I think I mentioned it previously a couple of times, but I think it's very important. Yes, because we not just transfer data from invoice to accounting software, but also, you know, we do smart transferring. Yes, because we also allow to uh, provide data about categories or accountants or uh, ledgers. Yes, also about type of transactions, Yes, and about suppliers, because it can be existing supplier, it can be new supplier, and so on. Uh, okay, so, and uh, you will get uh, absolutely prepared invoice or bill or expense in your accounting software. So, and you don't need to do any, uh, you know, any uh, actions manually in your accounting software with these uh, bills, invoices, and so on. Okay, so. I think, uh, you know, I think in the result you can say uh, goodbye, yeah, to manual data entry. Yes, and uh, we believe that this is the main goal of Ontera. Yes, and uh, we think that this is really, uh, this is very successful uh, solution, yep. Okay, and also I would like to mention about the, sorry, about the documents, yeah, because it's very important part. Uh, what kind of documents we can recognize and what kind of documents Intera work with? So above, above all, yes, surely Intera works with different type of invoices. Yes, it can be purchase invoices, it can be tax invoices, uh, any performing invoices, simplified format of invoices. Uh, also surely Intera works with uh, purchase orders, uh, with um, Quotations, yes, with uh, any type of receipts, and you know, I think uh, also it's very interesting because uh, very soon it will be available to work with bank statements. Yes, and uh, we know it's very important for reconciliation part of work, so we will definitely implement it soon. Okay, and uh, you know, before we will switch to demo, I would like to tell you about uh, our electronic archive. 
Yes, and uh, what it means? It means that we provide functionality to keep a searchable digital archive for users. Yes, and uh, no need to spend time uh, searching for documents. Yes, and the document, uh, your document never will be lost. Yes, and you can search it by different parameters and uh, it takes just a second. Okay, so, and let's switch to demo. Yes, I think this is the most uh, interesting part. Okay. Just a second. So great. So do you see my screen? Yes. You can answer uh, to the chat. Okay, great. Perfect. So let's start from the beginning. You know, uh, right now you see web user interface of Intera. Yes, and uh, first of all, I would like to tell you about the folders or directories. What is the reason to create these folders? Yes, and surely uh, you can create different number of folders. Uh, the first reason is uh, you should, uh, or we should, yes, because we are responsible for this, provide seamless integration with your accounting software. Yes, it means that we recommend the following approach. A particular folder should be connected with your particular account of your accounting software. And surely sometimes it should be connected with particular uh, customer under your accounting software. For example, if we speak about the QuickBooks Online. Uh, this is the first reason. Also, there is a next reason. You know, uh, the second reason is uh, you can uh, manage access for this folder and you can provide access for your external team or maybe for your supplier and as a result uh, your supplier will be able uh, will be available uh, to sorry we will be able to upload documents directly to your folders you know and uh, surely it can be very convenient for you okay so uh, let's open one of the uh, folders yes and uh, I will tell you about the main menu. So right now you see the list of the documents. Yes, and there is information uh, about uh, statuses of the documents. Yes, about upload uh, status. Yes, about customer name, supplier name, about document type, document number, document date, and so on. And surely you can always show some information. Yes, or you can always uh, hide some information. So it's up to you. Yep. Okay, and let's... Uh, Let's upload it something new. Yes, some new documents. So it's very easy to do it. Uh, as I mentioned before, surely you can do it by email or through the smartphone. But right now I would like to show you how uh, you can use our web user interface. You just need to click upload documents. Yes. Then you need select documents for uploading. Okay. For example, let's open this one and click send for recognition. Okay, now this is the loading process. So while we are waiting, let's upload it something new. For example, another one. Okay. Okay. So you see, uh, Intera already recognized the first document. Yes, and the customer name being B construction. And you know, surely I would like to underline that you don't need to do it one by one. Yes, uh, yes, I'm doing right now it. Yes, but just to show a result for you very quickly. So the most efficient way when you upload 100 invoices at once or any or any number of invoices. Yes, for example, I don't know, 20 invoices, 15 invoices, uh, 17 invoices and, and so on. Uh, because in such case, average time for recognition, for response time will be less because Intera doesn't have one queue. Yes, Intera uh, start to work with all of these simultaneously yes and for example you can upload your uh, 100 documents then you will do your other business needs and when you return to Intera in half an hour you will see result for all of this okay yes I, I see some questions surely you can use email so uh, when we speak about email uh, and just imagine if you some of your customers send uh, uh, invoices to you uh, as email attachment you just need to forward this email to Intera email address and Intera automatically take it in work. Okay, so uh, this is, yeah, this is completed documents. Yes, and we see Intera recognized two documents which we uploaded recently. So let's open one of these or one of these, yes, or one by one. 
Okay, we open it. So we see some information. We click on show scan and you see on the right side, this is original document. So you can always zoom in, zoom out it. Yes, you can move it in different uh, directions and surely if uh, it includes a couple of pages, you can list it as you wish. So on the left side, you see result of recognition. At the top of the screen, there are general information about uh, our invoice, or I think this is bill. Oh, this is quotation. Yeah, this is quote. Okay. So, uh, and uh, yes, at the top of the screen, you see general information, which in terror recognized from the head of the document. Yes, and there is a document number, uh, there is document date, customer name, supplier name, and so on. Below, you see all details for line items and you know i think this is the most interesting part yes one of the most interesting part because this is the really very unique feature uh because intera allows you to recognize all details about line items so it's kind of line uh, items extraction functionality yes and uh, uh intera will not skip some of them intera will uh you know, we will not do some mistakes with it. Yes, we really focus on this uh, quality of recognition for line items, especially. And uh, pay your attention. There is a name of line items. There is a units, uh, quantity, price, amount, what rate, if there is information about what rate, surely. And uh, surely there is a total amount and what amount. Okay, and we can check it, surely. So yeah, you see, this is the total amount and what amount. So everything is correct. Okay, let's return to another one, you know, because uh, previously I uploaded a couple of invoices. Yep. Okay, let's open this. Okay, so what we see. So this is a uh, simplified format of invoices. Yes, from Enoch station, I think. Yeah. So, and what happened? Uh, the driver just visited a uh, gas station. Yes, then just took a picture of invoice and sent directly to uh, uh, to Intera. Oh, so I, I see uh, that uh, that you have a lot of questions to me, yes, uh, through the chat. Uh, I will check it a little bit later, yeah, surely, and I will uh, answer all of this. But it's very important, yes, please uh, uh, send you questions. Okay, so, and uh, let's return to uh, our uh, invoice. So you see simplified format of invoice, yes, from Enox station. And what happened? Yes, the driver just took a picture of the uh, tax invoice and sent it directly to Intera. Yes, and Intera recognized all of this. Yes, very, very clear without any mistakes. And you see there is a line item. Yes, there is information about document number, about supplier and so on. Surely there is no information about customer, but it's not a magic. Yes, because there is no information about customer on the invoice body. Okay. And also I would like to show you some interesting samples uh, because I mentioned a lot about uh, accuracy. Yes, and I would like to show you something interesting. I like this sample a lot. So this is the tax invoice from day to day store. And you see the quality of this invoice is really poor. And at the same time, it includes 17 line items with parameters. Yes, like amount, price, quantity, tax rate, and so on. So just imagine if you need to input all of this manually, I think it takes time. And uh, please uh, pay attention uh, and of, uh, on the result of recognition. Yes, and Intera recognized all general information from the head of the document. Yes, and at the same time, Intera recognized all details for line items. Yes, with units, with quantity, with pricing, with what rate, and so on. And surely the total amount and the total what amount. Okay, so let's return to main menu. And you know, once again, how we can upload the documents? Yes, because I see that uh, some, uh, I see such uh, questions, yes, in our chat. Let's, let's do it once again. Yes, if we need to upload some uh, documents, it's very easy to do it through the web user interface. Just click on upload documents, select documents to uploading. Yes, and you can choose, for example, one document or couple of documents or hundred documents. 
it's up to you. So now Intera is recognizing the document. Yes, and uh, sometimes it takes time. You know, for example, uh, for now it took about maybe five seconds. Yes, and it was document from Reza Cabrobias, I see. This is the name of supplier. So there are, uh, there, there are two line items. And once again, you know, you see the quality of this document not so good. Yes, but Intera recognize it very well. Okay. So, but uh, you know, uh, what is the next step? Okay, we recognize uh, invoices very well with all details. Uh, yes, with all informations. So, good job. Yep, very accurate. But what's it, what is the next step? You know, because surely as a next step, we should transfer this data to your accounting software. So this is the main option for us. And you see uh, there are a menu at the top of the screen. Yes, and there is a button connect. I can click on this. And uh, you see right now my entire account is already connected with uh, my account uh, in QuickBooks. Yes, and it's very easy to do it. Yes, because we provide seamless integration. Yes, I think the process of integration, uh, not integration, the process of connecting, connection takes just maybe, uh, I don't know, 10 seconds. Yeah, something like this. Okay, let's return to main menu. Okay, and uh, how I can transfer the data from Intera to QuickBooks Online? Let's open QuickBooks. Yes, and there is a section expenses. Let's open it. So you see there are the list of the documents in QuickBooks. Yes, right now I uh, opened my account in QuickBooks Online. So all of this data was uh, were transferred from Intera automatically. And uh, let me show you how it works. So we recognize these two documents. Yeah, okay. And we would like to transfer this data to QuickBooks Online. I should select it. Yes, and I select it. Okay, then I just need to click export to external system. And next step, matching menu. Yes, and uh, this is the special menu which allows you not just transfer data about invoice, about the numbers, about uh, but positions, items to your accounting software. But at the same time, you can work with categories, you can work with type of transactions and so on. And we believe that it's very important part because just imagine if we just transfer data, yes, about uh, items and about supplier and, and customer to uh, QuickBooks Online. So what is the next step? Surely you need to understand what type of transactions, what is the category of this invoice? But you know, very often uh, it's not possible to recognize it automatically from invoice body. Yes, only accountant understand what is the name of customer and uh, what is the type of transaction is or what is the category is yeah so this is the reason why we propose to work with s such uh, additional menu for matching okay what you see uh, you can click uh, each invoice yes and you see some of the information uh, filled automatically by Intera like number uh, for example yes like a, a date type of transactions yes and surely you can uh, correct it. For example, if this is expense, you can choose expense. And you know, very uh, important part, Intera uh, will synchronize with your database of your accounting software. And all of these options, Intera took from your database of accounting software. So I have bill and expense, uh, and expense in my accounting software, uh, in my QuickBooks. Yep. Yeah? And uh, the same for category. Yep. Yeah? For example, let me type something. Yeah, and you see there, there is list of different categories. And this is the category from my account in my QuickBooks Online. So for example, let's, I don't know, let's uh, choose uh, Intera item. Okay, great. So also uh, you see there is a, a name of supplier. Yeah. Okay. And you know, also it's very important part. Surely Intera uh, recognized automatically the name of supplier. Yes, and uh, we use it by default. But at the same time, just imagine, uh, if you have the two different uh, invoices for one from one supplier, 
but the name of supplier has some small difference. Unfortunately, we see that uh, this is a very typical situation. For this purpose, you can use the list. Yes, and you see the similarity rate. Yes, and you can always correct the name of supplier on correct supplier in accordance with your accounting software. Okay, so let's do the same for second invoice. For example, we should choose entire purchase. Okay, no retail, no retail. It looks, it looks okay. Yeah, no retail. Okay, great. Uh, okay, I think we can create these documents. Yep. Oh, by the way, we have one more document. <laughs> Sorry, I skip it. Let's let's do it with uh, this uh, the same. Yes, this is uh, the document from BNB Construction. Okay, click on it. Export to external system. Okay, yes, we have all general information. This is the bill. Let's choose the category. For example, okay, inter item equipment rental. Okay, great. So, and let's create it. Yeah, great. Uh, so, uh, how we can see the result of this? Surely we can uh, open uh, once again our QuickBooks Online. Yes, and let me let me change the settings for filter okay apply but you know and surely yes we can use filter and we will find uh, our uh, transactions yes our invoicing but at the same time you know I think it's very important to use direct link from Intera to QuickBooks Online you see there is a link with name bill and the green color yes and surely we can always click on this yes and uh, we will see our invoice in QuickBooks Online uh, directly. Okay, so what we see. So, uh, uh, Intera transfer data about supplier. Yes, this is in Ocrate LLC. So, about a location, about dates, bill date, due date, about bill number. Yes, about uh, currency, because, you know, also I think it's very important. Intera loves to recognize currency. Yes, and uh, so description, the name of description. Yes, category. I think you remember. Yes, uh, we choose the entire purchase for this category. Yes, and sure the total, uh, what rate, and so on. Okay, and um, also Intera attached the document. Yes, for this invoice, and you can always click on this, and you will see. Yeah, original document from QuickBooks Online user interface. So this is our document, yep. Okay. So, and uh, also we uh, can do the same for another, our document, another invoice, BNB construction. Let's open it once again. Okay. This is the original document, which in turn recognized. Yes. And, uh, also, we can click on this, and you will see our document uh, in uh, QuickBooks Online. So you see Intera transfer data about supplier, yes, about location, about dates, uh, bill number. So uh, also Intera transfer data about descriptions, yes, about line items, yes, you see all of this and the category yes and the previously we choose the category equipment rental uh, about total amount about tax and so on and we can always click on the attached document yes because in there attached original document to uh build to in quickbooks online yes and just click on this okay so yeah this is our document this is our document Okay. Okay, let me check your questions. Just a second. Okay, can I use Intera with another system? For example, Zoho, Tali, and etc. Uh, you know, yes, very good questions. Uh, surely, yes, we uh, provide integrations with other uh, systems. For example, uh, with uh, not only with QuickBooks Online, but also with uh, Zoho Books. And I think uh, we will do it with uh, Tali very soon. Yes, because uh, we already... Uh, uh, 
we, we already completed the basic integration with Tally. Yes, and I think maybe in one month or maybe in two months as a maximum, we will propose the same for Tally. Yes, with seamless integration. And also, I think it's very important to say that we have our own API. Yes, and you can uh, always uh, integrate your any customized software, for example, or any ERP system with our uh, Intera. And surely from our side, we will be happy to support you. Okay, another question. Uh, what happens if I uploaded a document with low quality? So, you know, it depends. You know, for example, because uh, I think I showed a couple of uh, samples to you and the quality of these documents uh, was not so high. But at the same time, Intera work with it very well. But surely, if this is too less quality of the document, surely in such case, Intera will not work with it. But you know, uh, just imagine, if it can be not readable by human eye, surely we cannot recognize it. And in such case, uh, you will see the special information, yes, from uh, Intera service. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot uh, support, we cannot analyze this uh, document, yes, because quality of this document very poor. Okay, so let's, uh, let's move forward. And you know, also there is uh, another option to export data. Yes, surely one of the first option, this is uh, seamless integration with your accounting software, but at the same time, you can uh, export data in Excel format in accordance with different uh, requirements. Yes, and you just need to click all of your documents. Yes, or you just need to click uh, some of them. Yes, it's up to you. For example, let's, I don't know, let's click couple of documents, I don't know, five, six. Okay, then you need to click download button and you see there are some options. Yes, uh, you can export it in Excel format with items. You can export it uh, in, form, in Excel format without items. Yes, or for example, you can export it uh, in accordance with uh, Zoho requirements. Yes, and after this, uh, you can import this uh, Excel document to your Zoho directly. So let's, uh, let's do it with uh, items. Yes, in Excel format with items. So just click on this. Yeah, and it's ready. Mm -hmm. I open in my Excel. Okay, yeah, that's it. So, very easy to do it. You know, uh, on the left side, you see the general information about customer supplier for each invoice. But on the left side, you see all details about line items accordingly yes accordingly with invoice and surely you can filter it very easily yes you can filter it by supplier by customer name so in different ways yeah and you know also pay your attention as mentioned by me previously in Terra recognize tier number if there is a tier number yes on the invoice uh, body in Terra will recognize it for customer or for supplier it doesn't matter and uh, also Intera recognized uh, the currency. And if there is some information about the currency on the invoice body, Intera recognized this currency. So you see this is USD, this is uh, dirhams and so on. Other invoices just uh, doesn't have this, uh, doesn't have this information about currency. This is why uh, there is uh, empty spaces. Okay, so let's uh, return to uh, uh, our web user interface. So also I would like to tell you another functionality. By the way, uh, previously I mentioned about the folders, uh, but uh, I didn't explain how you can manage the access for this folder. Yep, and that I would like to show you. So right now I have a free folder. I created three folders, yep. And for example, I would like to provide access for company one, for one of my supplier. Yes, to, and uh, he will be available to upload documents directly to this folder. Okay, I just need to click invite users. Yes, and I need to specify his email. Like this, okay. 
So then I need to choose uh, the name of company or the name of uh, folder. So this is company one. And maybe if uh, I work with this supplier for uh, two customers, okay, great. We can also choose this one and just click send uh, invitation. Yes, and uh, as a next step, uh, this supplier uh, will receive uh, the email with credentials to uh, log in to Intera, and after this, he will be available to upload documents to folders at the same way uh, as we did previously. Okay, and you know, also, I would like to show you how we can work with the archive and our smart filter, because, you know, I think this is very important um, functionality. Uh, okay, we have all of these documents, yes, but <laughs> I'm sure that uh, based on your practice, you have not only, I don't know, 50 documents or 100 documents, it can be a thousand, thousand and thousand documents, yes, and surely you can use our filter to work with it, and you can search your documents by different parameters, uh, like a customer name, a supplier name, document creator, document type, any dates, uh, date of creation, date of edition, and so on. For example, uh, I remember the supplier name, yeah? So, day to day, okay, great. So, click on this and just apply filter. Okay, and you see, this is our document, so very easy. But uh, at the same time, it can be very important when you work with your auditor or with your uh, customers. Because just imagine, uh, if your customer, yes, or other third party, yes, company, request you uh, about the documents and you need to do some reconciliation work. Yes, what happens? So usually you need to find some documents, yes, and uh, maybe this is request about documents which you uh, worked about half a year ago. Yeah, so within Terra, it's very easy to find your documents. Yes, and you can, uh, for example, let's let's find in something new. Yeah, I don't know document for B and B construction. I remember we have this customer. Okay, so apply filter. Great, this is our documents. Yes, and it's very easy. Yes, and you can always. Uh, download it as PDF document. Yes, you can always download it as archive. Yes, and uh, you you will be able to provide this information, yes, for reconciliation work, or you will be able to provide this information for your customers, yes, very easily, yes, and very quickly. So this is the main idea of this uh, digital archive from our side. And surely you can uh, keep and store all of your documents there, Yes, and uh, in our uh, electronic uh, document archive. Yes, and this is like, a, it works like a cloud storage. Yep, and uh, it's very convenient. And once again, yes, you can share the access for this for your team or for external team and you can manage this access. So, you know, honestly, I think, um, I think that's all, yes, about demo. And let me check your questions. Yes, maybe uh, I will show you something more. Just let me... Uh, read it. Okay. So, what about documents in different language and uh, scan documents? Uh, you know, uh, for now we focused on uh, Gulf countries, and uh, you know we see that uh, most of them uh, use uh, English language. Yes, and for example, speaking about uh, documents, I know in Saudi Arabia, yes, there are two. Uh, language yes there uh, there is arabic language plus translation in english but surely i think you know uh, we have this task in our roadmap yes for now we work with the uh, english language but i think yes uh, very soon yeah we will add uh, in other languages too okay what else Uh, I have a solution which is being provided to our clients. How do we integrate Intera with my system? Uh, so, two options. Yes, uh, the first options, if this is the uh, very uh, common and popular uh, accounting software, in such case, this is our responsibility. Yes, and uh, uh, I need just check, maybe we already had this integration. 
Uh, and the second option, if you have some, you know, customized uh, accounting software, in such case, we will provide API for you, yes, for your team, and uh, you can work with it, yes, and uh, I think you uh, you will be able to use it and uh, provide integration very easily. And surely, if you need our support, we will be ready to do it, yes, and uh, if you would like to request our develop, uh, development team, so surely we will be happy to cooperate with you and uh, provide such support. Uh, okay, so I propose to uh, switch to another slides. Yes, and I will show you some other information. Uh, can we? Uh, I, I see. I see. Uh, yes, yes. I see some other un, uh, other questions. Just a second. Can we also search document with a amount? Uh, let me show you. So right now, you see there are different parameters which help us to search documents. Yeah, this is like a document status, uh, different dates, uploaded status, and so on. Name of supplier, name of customers, and so on. Uh, so for now, uh, I think we cannot see the amount, but at the same time, I think I think it's possible. Let's let's check because we recognize this parameter. Yes, I think it's not uh, difficult. Yeah, for us, but uh, for now it's not available. Okay, and you know I think I will. Uh, I noted your questions and I will clarify it with my team. Yes, because maybe maybe it will be available. So I just need to clarify it. Okay, so another questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, let's let's continue with uh, slides. <clears throat> okay. Uh, also, I would like to share with you some other information about Intera. Yes, and uh, this is information about our references. Yes, and uh, this is very uh, interesting case study for Intera. Uh, I think uh, you know the, the name of company. This is BDO, very large international public accounting and advice, advisory company. Yes, and uh, I suggest to look at the at, at this case study. Yeah, because it's very remarkable for Intera. So, uh, in the beginning, yes, BDO. Uh, came to us with request, guys, please uh, get rid the manual work uh, with incoming documents for us. Also, they uh, wanted to increase the speed of document processing. Yes, and uh, also they have a request uh, for classification of different uh, documents automatically. Yep. And uh, we uh, uh, connected them to Intera service. Yes, and as a result, we improved speed of work with document in eight times. Yes, plus uh, we provide uh, no human errors operations. Yes, and it was very significant result for them. And we classify all incoming documents for customers. I mean, by different types. Yes, as mentioned by me previously, it can be invoice, quotations, purchase orders, and so on. And also we provide cost saving more than three times. Yeah, surely it's very good for business. Uh, okay. And uh, also speaking about the uh, references. Yeah. Uh, I would like to mention that uh, Intera are a global company. Yes, and uh, we are IT company and software development company. And we operate in more than 5,000 companies uh, around the world. So why? Why we can do it? Yeah, uh, because uh, we provide very reliable uh, service and Intera is a reliable company. Yes, because we have five years of successful experience. Five years. And uh, also, you know, I think we scanned, uh, as you see, uh, is more than 18 millions of different documents. Yes, and uh, we processed uh, 500,000 new pages per month. Yeah, I think this is really significant numbers. Yeah, and also we have a very uh, comprehensive experience. Yes, because uh, we have successful projects uh, within Terra from different sections of market. Yes, it can be outsourced accounting company, any construction company, retail, trading company, and other. And surely we work with different uh, regions of the world. Yes, and we started our work in Europe, and uh, 
Uh, for now, we work in UAE, in Saudi Arabia, in the Gulf countries, in India, and so on. And you know, I just want to underline that we propose a full ready solution with a successful history of implementation. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure definitely we can say uh, Intera is a stable and reliable uh, partner uh, and uh, product and uh, service. Yeah, and uh, you know, I think in conclusion, yes, I would like to outline why we believe that Intera is efficient for customers. Yes, the first reason is Intera very fast solution and our solution allows you to do routine document workflow in 10 times faster than usual manual approach. Next one, Intera provide high accuracy. You know, it's higher if we compare it with a, uh, for example, manual input. Even you have, you know, very uh, complicated uh, structure with a lot of uh, supervisors. Anyway, unfortunately, the mistakes uh, happened. Yep. Sorry, happens. Yep. And uh, uh, reliable. Yes, Intera is a very reliable solution. Yes, and uh, as mentioned, we have successful history of project. Yes, and our reliability is proven by our customers. And last one, flexibility. Yes, because this is cloud-based solution. Yes, which works using software as a service model. And, and it allows the customer to have a very flexible approach. Yes, to, pl to plan the work. And uh, you don't need to... You know, you don't need to spend your time and uh, your uh, budget for uh, implementation, for maintenance, you know, for any support, you know, uh, because this is our responsibility. We will support you. So, and it's very easy to start using Intera. Yes, it just maybe, it will take uh, five minutes. Yeah. And uh, we believe that uh, such combination of properties uh, makes uh, Intera to be very efficient and uh, optimize, you know, and very efficient to optimize, you know, a routine work with uh, document processing and especially with uh, data entry for accounting. So this is the main uh, idea. Yeah. And in the end, uh, let's speak about the pricing. So uh, as I said before, we work using software as a service model. Yes. And we propose annual subscription which includes uh, four options and uh, with only one difference. Uh, the difference is number of pages, which included with a uh, subscription. And uh, we have following options like business pre business premium, uh, business uh, pro and basic. Yes, business premium, this is uh, 32,000 pages. Yes, and for example, basic, this is only 4,000 pages. So it depends on uh, your requirements. Yes, you can choose uh, any options. And uh, speaking about subscription, uh, each subscription includes uh, unlimited number of users. Yes, uh, unlimited clients of uh, accountants and bookkeepers. So, for example, if you have 10 your clients, uh, you will be able to work with uh, one entire account. If you have 100 clients, so you will be available. You will be available to work with the uh, Intera. Okay, and also it includes seamless integration with accounting software. Yes, and uh, also unlimited cloud storage of a, a, a customer documents. And you know, very important part, just imagine, for example, if your uh, subscription will be expired in one year. Yes, because we propose annual subscription. So in such case, it doesn't mean that uh, you will not have access for your documents, for your storage. At least up to three months after the expiry of the subscription, you will be available to use your uh, storage. Uh, okay, and what else? A line item extraction, surely it will be available for all options. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think uh, another one important part, we as a vendor provide free lines of technical support for you, uh, 24 hours, uh, seven days, uh, with 15 minutes response time. So very, very quickly. Uh, okay, and uh, also let's speak about uh, the setting up, yeah? And uh, as mentioned uh, by me previously, it's very easy to start your subscription, yes? And it includes three main steps. Yeah, we agree, the number of pages with you, yes? And uh, send the invoice to you and getting the payment. So next step, this is setup. 
we will register your uh, Intera account and uh, support to set up uh, for integration with you. But uh, once again, this is out of the box solution. It takes just two minutes, maybe five minutes, something like this. And the uh, final step, uh, you can start, just enjoy. Yes, and uh, you will work uh, faster and the more accurate with your documents. So this is our, this is our main goal of our service. Uh, okay, and uh, you know, in the end, uh, I would like to tell you that, um, you know, unfortunately, yes, it's easier to say uh, than to do uh, implementing some advanced changes. Yes, and we understand it very well. Yes, and uh, based on some uh, research, uh, only 94% of management uh, focused on uh, routine daily workflow and cannot uh, change it to get more progress. Yes, unfortunately. But, you know, we believe, not you. Yes, and uh, let's keep to be flexible. Yes, let's keep to be open to progress you know, to do our business efficient and more profitable and not only business process, yes, but uh, I think our life in general more comfortable, yeah. And, you know, I think in the end I would like to tell you about our uh, certificates, yes, because uh, after this webinar, yes, all participants uh, will uh, receive this uh, certificates yes about uh, your participation yes in our uh, webinar uh, but you know just please uh, share your contact info yes and uh, we will send it to you and you can uh, you know and also i think we will send it to you by email and uh, please reply on it with your correct names yes and we will send you uh, the cert certificates and uh, you know also i think we have the uh, special condition for you uh, i think uh, any participants or will uh, will get the special bonus yes and you will have uh, 50 free pages yes and you can register your entire account and use these uh, free pages uh, but just please pay attention there is a one small condition yes you should uh, share your certificate uh, to the LinkedIn uh, profile okay I think we will share all uh, all uh, conditions and the manuals for this uh, to the email and uh, you can try it. By the way, uh, you know, also I mentioned uh, about registration uh, of an entire account. It's very easy to do it. Just a second, I will show you. So we have our web site. Yes, and also you can uh, search all information about Intera from this. And also there is a button, start free trial. You just need, uh, need to click on this. Yes, and uh, you can be registered, yes, and you will have access for your Intera account with a uh, balance uh, with your pages. Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, finally, finally, also I would like to mention that uh, we will be happy to uh, propose an uh, individual workshop, yes, for uh, each participants. Yes, and uh, just uh, let us know about this. Yes, and uh, we will be happy to have some uh, individual meeting with you. Yes, and uh, uh, I will be happy to share all details about our service uh, with you. Yes, and upload your uh, samples of the documents. Yes, and uh, show how it works with your accounting uh, software. Yeah. Uh, okay, so <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for your attention. Yes, and uh, it was my pleasure to hold this webinar for you. And uh, now I think it's time for uh, questions and answers. Yes, and I will be happy to answer for this. Okay, and let me return to our chat. Yes, and I will try to answer all questions. Okay, so what if some additional line discount or invoice discount is applied? Also, at times the client may have an invoice which doesn't match. 
how will Intera work in such cases? So, uh, speaking about uh, some uh, problems with matching, you know, I think this is the reason why we uh, propose our matching menu, yes, uh, for you. So, this is, uh, you know, this is capability, yes, for uh, accountant to have a look uh, at all the invoices and you can work with it like a group work. Yes, and you can change, uh, I don't know, the categories. Yes, you can change some parameters. Or if you see, once again, if you see some uh, mistakes in uh, a name of supplier, for example. Uh, I mention it because it's very typical uh, use case. Yeah, and surely you can use our list with similarity rate and you can correct it and you can choose the correct name of your uh, supplier. So, and the... Um, if you have if you have other use cases just please uh, share it with us yes and uh, i will clarify it and uh, we will provide all details for you so maybe it, it will be available just just let me know uh, what kind of mismatch uh, do you mean and uh, also speaking about additional line discount i understand yes what you uh, mean uh, for now uh, it's not available yes but once again if this is important for your business model so we can discuss it we are open and you know we uh, work with Intera uh, with the monthly sprints yes and we always improve it yes each month and surely as a user you don't need to do nothing with it but just sometimes you will see that uh, some new functionality will be available for you and surely I will be happy to inform about this yes and yes sure we have uh, this uh, you know small changes uh, in our uh, roadmap yes and we will do it uh, better better and better okay what is the next next questions just a second okay about different language, uh, language, languages we already answered. Okay, uh, the question from uh, Salil. Uh, can you open the file and then the system so that we know and understand how and what we should expect? Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, sure sure uh, we can do it you mean it will be more clear for you so if you have just maybe a couple of minutes more i can show you but i think i think we, we already uh, did it yes because once again yeah this is our invoice yes and we can always show it yeah this is original document which was uploaded to intera by uh, me previously Yes, and this is result of recognition. And uh, once again, if you would like to upload these documents, we just need to click on this, select the documents. I don't know, for example, this one. Click send for recognition. So right now this is the loading process and Intera is counting. This is, uh, there are two pages, so it's done. And we can open it. So this is original document. This is the result for this document. But uh, once again, uh, you know, Salil, if you have more questions, I will be happy to schedule with you uh, online uh, workshop. Yes, and we will use your samples. Yes, and you will see how it works. Okay, another question. Uh, it's a new ERP software? Uh, no, it's not an ERP software. Yes, because we focused only on uh, data entry process for accounting and the bookkeeping industry. And uh, also, sure, we propose some uh, related functionality. For example, as I uh, showed you before with matching menu and so on. Okay. So let me check another questions and then I think uh, we will finish it. So I think that's all. 
so uh, I see you don't have more questions but uh, if, if you have any questions please ask I will be happy to answer so I think that's all yep so in such case once again uh, thank you so much for your attention I hope it was uh, interesting for you yes and uh, please uh, let us know if you would like to have a, a individual workshop yes uh, we will uh, schedule it with you and we will be happy to do it yes and uh, we'll do more tests and we'll provide more uh, details about our solution so thank you so much <laughs>